Now, Jerusalem. Yes. Sir. It's an honor calling this gentleman a bro. You understand what I mean, sir? Because as I mentioned earlier, it's when it comes to music videos. Mm-hmm. We sit down here from the church or watch enough visuals. We, we critique them. We, we, we applaud. And, you know, but it's it's not every day you get for get some insight into persons who act to, um, with persons who actually sit down and create these things. Mm-hmm. Really? They say that generally, yeah? <sighs> even though enough about it. You understand what I mean, yes, sir? sir? I'm talking about Dennis Fife, ladies and gentlemen. Bridge Nation. I'm going to tell you something about Dennis Fife. Jerusalem, hear that, hear that, hear that, listen. All right, we're all <laughs> Managing director mm-hmm. at Denny Visuals, film company that. All right. So that's a one responsibility already. Cinematographer, mm-hmm. filmmaker, videographer. Okay. Editor. Cool. Photographer. Whoa. You, you fight crime too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, sir. <laughs> D-man, <laughs> they everything. Then it's all gone, bro. Welcome, man. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. Give thanks. Man. Yeah, so the reasoning to that, the reasoning to that, bro, is music videos and their importance mm-hmm. in dancehall reggae because we know you do some reggae music videos as well mm-hmm. um but my first question right off the bat dennis is why why have your your, your hand or your foot or why double in so many different disciplines why not just say oh, we'll just be a, a cinematographer and bill <laughs> or an editor and bill and why, boy, Chels, yes, we're sorry. not so yeah, on the whole film thing so yeah it can oh, help yeah. you kind of differentiate oh. what is a cinematographer what a cinematograph- different yeah. from okay. a well, we know what is an editor, yeah. Yeah. but we kind of want to know different, the difference, you know? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's um, start with that then. Um, yeah. Greetings, everybody. Um, yeah. So, cinematographers are basically image makers, you know okay. what I mean? Creatives, mm-hmm. uh, they work with light, and I like to say that we paint with light. Mm-hmm. So, okay. just like our artists would use a brush and, you know, mm-hmm. create mm-hmm. paintings yeah. using that, we use light, and that is mm-hmm. our brush. So, that's how we make our mark on the world, by painting with light and creating beautiful images that support a story. Okay, so then, that, does that include like a backdrop or something, like creating backdrops or? Well, or, or backdrop just lighting is, the, or? is is the reality. Yeah. It's, it's the oh, scene. Okay. It's the oh, setting. Okay. You know cool. that mm. the story is taking place. Um, you know what I mean? So whether it's a blockbuster movie yeah. or it's a music video, yeah, um, yeah, yeah that's all our canvas. Okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So so why why do all of them think they do do? Then it's like why why not just mm. specialize? Uh, yeah. yeah, why why do everything? Well, under, the, under the sun. To be honest, mm. that's how I start out. So I start out as a photographer, ah, yeah, and then yeah. transition into being a videographer, and then eventually, kind of zoning on cinematography. So that's mm. where the specialty is right now. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm actually a zoning right now, pan or towards cinematography. cinematography. Yeah. So, I just say money there. I'm asking my question. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I lead to. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even I say that to them. No, that's what, <laughs> that's what I lead to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see the progression from the photography yeah. to the mm-hmm. music video. Mm-hmm. It's going to lead to movies next. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. Especially now that we have the Jamaica film fund. Whoa. Yeah, I was about to bring yeah, up that. I'm going to bring up that. I'm going to bring up that. No. Now, I'm going to mention some projects you worked on, bro. Mm-hmm. But you can expound and you can tell us any other artists you have, you've worked with. Um, we get my thing right. So. 10 Kino with Proto. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you you shot that. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's 10 Kino. Beautiful. The beautiful direct, video. but shot it. Shot, yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. So you see, we well, get the, well, I get the, the different right. levels, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Thy Will. We play that song every day. We yeah, play man, the yeah, yeah. Lila, I can. You you shot that one as well. Yes. That yeah. was directed by Nikki. Yeah. Nikki Kane. Nikki Kane. Big yeah. up Nikki. Mm-hmm. And another favorite, Bang Bing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You shot that. You shot that. Yeah. Bro, like. When it comes to working with all these artists, right? Mm-hmm. My first question is, what is that creative process like? Because Protégé, for example, is a very creative guy. You understand what I'm saying? So how, what is it like putting like your input, your creative input, and, and meshing it with theirs? Well, it depends on the job title that are going as. Ah. So if I'm only the cinematographer, then ah. I'm interacting with, with that the, director, the director already. Yeah. So in the case of like Proto and um, uh, that video, mm-hmm. That was directed by Samo. Samo, yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. Big up Samo. Really, really good director. Like mm-hmm. him, vision is like some different things, isn't right. it? So it was a pleasure working with Samo. And so when he linked me, you know, he tell me, say, oh, well, this is the vision that I'm going to go mm-hmm. for. And then we just kind of think about the looks, the colors that we're working with, how mm-hmm. we want to light it. Does it need to be very beautiful and yeah. bright? Does it need to be, you know, uh, dark and moody? Mm. So we try to figure that out and everything. But I still have an input as a cinematographer mm-hmm. because, as we say, we are the ones who kind of responsible for yeah. 
like the scene mm-hmm. and everything there. So um I have some input and it's a collaborative effort yeah. between director and the cinematographer. So no, no, uh you know I'm gonna know a little bit more than like a film. Oh, thing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so my, my, my thing is I personally when me used to do them thing, I still do cause then it's a fight when you see you're used to. So I used to have this like a nervous thing, especially when you mm-hmm. work with like persons who you think you're yeah, out there and popular. You know, because you do the camera work as well. So, what mm-hmm. is it like when, like, for example, for example, you just don't shoot a scene and, like, for example, Leela found and said, Let me see it. What is <laughs> what, what got to your mind, like, when our proto said, Let me see what you just shoot, like, mm-hmm. and then my view where you just shot. What's, what, what got to your mind? What if they don't like it? Yeah, what if they don't like it? <laughs> um, you know, it comes in a level of confidence still. Mm. And I mean, it, it's natural for your artist to look upon someone and say, boy, I'm mean, not really feel that thing. Yeah. And then, you know, you just want to get the feedback to make it better. Yeah. So, as I say, it's a collaboration. So, the director, and if I'm directing and mm-hmm. shooting at the same time, then we try to find out, yo, know, like, what are you comfortable mm. in doing or performing? Because sometimes you might not like an angle. Yeah. And then they might say, all right, let's try this. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So yeah. that's pretty much my approach. So I'm gonna really get nervous about them yeah, thing there. Yeah, just, um I think the more I'm prepared mm. to go into the job is the better the outcome for me, especially when I'm on set. So yeah. I'm feel more comfortable knowing that well we do all of that planning already. So yeah. once we reach one set, it's like yo, go. So, and uh, the artist is involved in that. So they see the treatment, which is yeah. basically a document that outlines the job yeah. or the video mm-hmm. essentially. So all the scenes, everything break down. So once they get there, they already know what to expect. Ah, uh, respect, respect. Now I was still in Jerusalem. Um, long time ago, till Jerusalem. They yeah. said when I when I used to when I stop say used to when I, when I <laughs> did some music videos and stuff on mm-hmm. on persons. Cause you know it go then it's like once them, once people say you can shoot one of the first things a young artist somebody I go link you and say yo, more do a music video right? Oh yeah. I, I from a taller time before the broadcasting commission sure, yeah. forward out with their directives. I used to have this like a moral compass where I say, yo, <laughs> certain songs with certain type of content, I don't nah, want my name associated mm-hmm. with that product. So my question for you then is, do you have that type of moral com- compass when it comes to working with, with artists? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And why is that? Um, it's just me. You mm. know what I mean? I feel like the thing, music definitely affects the space and mm. people, mind and them things. So, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't really want to right, perpetuate. Sorry, yeah, sorry, that, sorry, sorry, no. sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, go on. But, you know, the, <laughs> let me have a kind of... Mm-hmm. All right. Do you yeah. take the same stance if it was a violent movie? Ah, uh, yeah. Question. To some degree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want. We just want to balance yeah. the thing there, you know, yeah. because oh, yeah. I think music has gotten this type of a bad rap in terms of, mm-hmm. not in terms of people not viewing it as entertainment. You see I me? Mean? Movies, you can't do anything. Everybody free mm-hmm. to do anything. But in movie, uh, for, for music, some particular reason, if you say something, everybody believe it. Right? You know, it's not mm-hmm. it's not entertainment anymore. So the stance that you guys taking, I'm listening to you and I'm saying, all right, if the so, money is right, no, I agree. And you get a big shoot up mm-hmm. movie. No, you guys say, oh, you know, say, you mean when Chris <laughs> three, you know, uh, not doing, not you doing, doing uh, or John Wick. fast and furious. Five, uh, yes, yeah, like yeah, John Wick. You're not, you're yeah, not yeah, doing right. it. Yeah, morals, yeah, like morals. No, morals, I, like, I mean, it's promoting to be honest, violence. Yeah, with music, I get the point for sure. Yes. Yeah. Like it is true. I feel like for me though. Know, the, the, the type of videos I'm more right on, yeah. I have some kind of, mm-hmm. yeah, it have to have some kind of message it's behind message. it ah, or right. be fun for work on. Mm-hmm. Like we see the regular videos with the girls and the this yeah, and the yeah, yeah. shaking up and yeah. that's typical. You get me? Mm-hmm. So, and not have it placed to in the market. You yeah, get me? Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, that's fine, you know. But more on something else. More yeah, yeah. work on something where we can say, yo, we do this uh, differently. What if you're not working at a, at, at at the as a director mm-hmm. and you're working as a cinematographer or mm-hmm. an, an editor? And then, and then call mm-hmm. it in on a project? Yeah. I does think, it I, make a difference? I think it I Yeah, because you still have the power for turn down and yeah, saying you no. Say, you True. can't say no. So, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. especially yeah. as an editor, like you sit down and live with that footage the and, 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 and then the song keep on a play of like, yeah, we can't yeah, do that. Yeah. But so definitely have a moral compass Yeah, um, for sure when choosing jobs. No, no, I have a little pet peeve, Dennis. Mm-hmm person saying especially when it comes to the music videos and it don't matter the level of artistry you know yep. um, Jerusalem can mm-hmm. be an upcoming talent can be an artist for boss for years more on the first world look more on the international <laughs> look without yeah. the budget <laughs> without, yeah. the, without the money oh, yeah. first of all what is the international look they matter talk about Dennis why well, <laughs> to me still yeah I think that they're looking for image quality yeah mm. it's not really 
the actual intricacies and the the set mm-hmm. design and yeah, they just yeah. want image quality. Sharp. And yeah, it yes. just needs to look really nice. The colors need to look yeah. nice, and the you know the cinematography need to look nice. From it look nice, I feel like that cover. Yeah. Them, but them not really expect. You have me. a very important <laughs> role in you know, because yeah. the cinematographer. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so yeah, you yeah, are the person who kind of give the, the video that kind of look. Yeah, yep. man, respect, man, respect. Okay. And we don't really do a lot of, well, I mean, now the game has been changing, so we're mm. doing set pieces now and everything, else, so right. I'm happy to see that. So how you deal with, like, the budget restraints? Because, you know, mm. artists don't really love spend money. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they want the best and brightest mm. looking stuff, yeah, man. but the budget not, so you have can't to reach. How you then kind of deal with it? Take it's a balance. Or you kind of balance it in terms yeah, of it, it's a balance. Okay. So obviously, if somebody comes and say, "Yo, I only have a hundred US dollars for shooting mm-hmm. a music video," mm-hmm. that can't really cover anything. Yeah. And for me, I don't work alone, so yeah. I always work with a team of people. Mm-hmm. And what people don't understand is that the team needs to be paid. Yeah. So when you tell yeah. somebody say, "Yo, a video may cost half a million mm. to eight million, ten million, million, depending mm-hmm. on the production." Yeah. It really goes into what people are eating on set. You know, the True. artists have to eat. Yeah, yeah. The people who they come with the management. True. You know, lighting packages, yeah, the camera man. lenses. That man. Um, post production need to get paid. Ooh, Suppose yeah. you have somebody stuff. who do VFX, they need that to be paid oh for. My. And then different versions of your edits. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, they need something for Facebook for post a Facebook. If you use Facebook, yeah, isn't it? So, Instagram is another cut. They need a promo reel to go mm-hmm. with the video. That is an extra charge. So it's a big money. So it's a big <coughs> business, man. It's a big business. <laughs> but when you tell people, say, oh, the, the figure when you yeah. say one million dollars for shooting a music video, mm-hmm. really and truly, you as a cinematographer only take home a certain percentage of yeah. that. Okay. And then everybody else uh, take home a percentage. Exactly. Wow, look mm-hmm. at that. Now. Well, oh, sorry, on, one more question because I, I asked you this question before, yeah, boy. Mm-hmm. and it's a part of the whole creative industry, right? Mm-hmm. You think is it is it feasible that uh, you can, or you have to do other jobs in terms of like have a nine to five, or, or you can yeah. do this uh, is it, thing full yeah, time? Full time. That's what we really want. Oh, yeah. Can it can it be done full time? Yeah, man. I mean, you think Jamaica reach a level now where, mm-hmm. because why, well, if it's not just working with music videos and artists. You guys work with a uh, corporate company, yeah. so I do corporate. commercials as well. So, and I yeah. think enough people don't know about that, you know. Yeah, man, yeah. that's a can't live off a music video. Can't live off a mu- man. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can. That's okay. A, yeah. Cool. Now, speaking of the industry, I was know a few o'clock is upon us. Cause that I want to show them. Mm-hmm. We, we mentioned, you know, um, you know how lucrative the business is. Mm-hmm. We re- re- uh, recently realized um, that the government, you mentioned it earlier, is mm-hmm. one billion dollar um, mm-hmm. grant establishing Ooh. that grant for the TV and film industry. Um, is that a good look for us? Is that a step in the right direction? And do you think need, more needs to be done? 